Malvina is on her deathbed at her ancestral home at the start of the film. She informs her adolescent son Jacob that after she dies, another woman will come to look after him. Jacob will recognize the woman by her love for him. Malvina then requests that Jacob promise her that he will call Malvina back. Malvina dies soon after that. Then we meet Verena, a young British nurse who specializes in children's care. Verena's job is to look after the kids and make sure they get better. It's difficult for her to say goodbye to the children she cared for, but it's a necessary part of her job, and she must move on to care for the other children. Verena arrives at Jacob's house seven months later to care for him. Since Jacob hasn't spoken since her mother died, his father Klaus has previously hired a number of English-speaking nurses to care for him. Verena is the newest nurse who will care for Jacob until he returns to normal. Despite her lack of a degree, Verena claims to be well-liked by the children and to have years of experience. Klaus isn't impressed with Verena's abilities because all of the nurses Klaus has hired in the past have failed to get Jacob to speak, but he hires her anyway. Verena then goes to see Jacob and introduces herself, but Jacob remains silent and lost in his own world. Verena joins Klaus and Jacob for dinner later that night. She tries to talk to Jacob, but he remains cold and distant. Klaus informs her that Jacob does not want her around and will soon ask her to leave, but Verena is confident that she will be able to make Jacob speak again. Later that night, Jacob leans against his room's stone wall, as if he's trying to hear something. The next morning, Verena begins her treatment and continues to speak with Jacob, who remains emotionless. Verena tells him that she lost her parents when she was about his age, so she understands what it's like to lose someone and feel completely alone in the world. Verena later visits Jacob's room and discovers a photograph of Malvina. Verena comes across Lelia, a retired housemaid, while looking for Jacob. Lelia is delighted to see Verena and requests that she force Jacob to speak again. Verena then requests that Klaus tell her everything so she can understand why Jacob isn't talking. Klaus reveals that Malvina became ill and that her condition deteriorated over time. So he went in search of assistance, while Jacob stayed with his mother. But by the time he returned, Malvina had passed away. Jacob soon distanced himself from everyone and stopped talking. Klaus tells Verena later that night over dinner that Malvina's family has owned the estate for 1,200 years. Her family made a fortune from their quarry. Malvina, on the other hand, chose a different path and became a world-renowned pianist. She allowed the quarry to flood during World War II because most of the men who worked there died in the war. Verena and Jacob go to the quarry the next day. Verena meets the estate keeper Lesio, who lights a candle every day in memory of the long-dead quarrymen. Verena goes to check on Jacob one night and finds him with his ear to the stone wall in his room, listening. Verena attempts to converse with him, but he flees. When Verena tells Klaus about it the next day, Klaus admits that he knows. He is concerned that Jacob believes he can hear his mother through the stones. Verena is taken aback by this revelation and informs him that she isn't qualified to care for the boy. Instead, Jacob should be hospitalized, but Klaus disagrees. Verena later spots Jacob on the ledge of a tall tower. She rushes to save him, putting her life in danger in the process. Verena realizes she cares about Jacob and decides to stay and assist him. Verena then gently explains to Jacob that the voice he hears is not real and that his mind is playing tricks on him. But Jacob ignores her and rushes to the family mausoleum. Alessio informs Verena that Malvina's family is buried there for 40 generations. Jacob is sitting near his mother's tombstone, listening for her voice. Verena informs Jacob that the dead do not speak and wishing to hear from deceased loved ones will not bring them back. Verena informs Jacob one day that she is unable to play the piano. As he, like her mother, is gifted, she encourages him to do so. Lilia starts paying Verena visits every night and tells her about Jacob and Malvina. She eventually forms a close friendship with Verena. Verena goes to see Klaus the next day and discovers that he is a professional sculptor. Klaus was working on a sculpture of Malvina but had to put it on hold after Malvina died. Verena is growing fond of Jacob and tries to listen to the stones, wondering if they truly speak. While returning, Jacob flees and climbs up a tree. Verena pursues him and tears her skirt while climbing the tree. So she goes to see Lelia and asks if she can borrow an extra pair of clothes. So Lelia gives her a Malvina dress. When Klaus notices her wearing Malvina's dress, he becomes enraged and orders her to take it off. However, after noticing the striking physical resemblance between Verena and Malvina, he requests that Verena put it on. Klaus soon decides to return to work on the Malvina sculpture. Later that night, Klaus approaches Verena and asks her to model naked for him so that he can finish the statue. Verena is taken aback by this request and is at a loss for words. But she eventually agrees because she, too, wants to see the statue completed. 
Furthermore, she hopes that this will aid Jacob's recovery. But soon after, Verena begins to fantasize about having sexual relations with Klaus and can't stop thinking about him. Verena notices Jacob listening to the stone wall in Malvina's room one night. Verena joins him and is taken aback when she hears Malvina's voice, realizing that Malvina's spirit is indeed alive in the stone. So Verena assures Jacob that she will take care of him. Verena talks to the painting of Malvina after putting him to sleep and tells her that she is hurting Jacob. So she should stop talking to Jacob and let Verena look after both of them. Meanwhile, Klaus is still working on the statue, which he hopes to complete soon. Jacob eventually develops feelings for Verena and begins spending more time with her. Verena goes to see Klaus later that night, who is still working on the statue. Verena makes love to Klaus after he finishes working on the statue. Klaus later feels guilty because he believes he cheated on Malvina. So, because Jacob is still silent, he decides to fire Verena. Verena informs him that Malvina has requested her presence in order for her to care for Jacob and Klaus. She also claims to have heard Malvin's voice in the stone. Klaus, on the other hand, does not believe her and believes she has gone insane. Verena begs Klaus not to send her away, but Klaus has made his decision. So Verena goes to Jacob's room and attempts to communicate with Malvina through the stone wall, but she receives no response. So she takes Jacob to Malvina's tomb and informs him that they must assist Malvina. She begs Jacob to speak again so that she is not expelled. But Jacob refuses to speak and flees. Verena pursues him and begs him to speak. She becomes so desperate that she slaps him. Verena recognizes that she has the same fever as Malvina. So she decides to leave right away because she believes Malvina is attempting to make her sick. Klaus, on the other hand, stops Verena and begs her to stay, explaining that he and Jacob need her in their lives. Verena is perplexed and informs Klaus that she wishes to see Lelia. However, Klaus informs her that Lelia committed suicide on the day Malvina died. Verena is horrified by this news and decides to leave the estate right away. But as she runs away from the house, she becomes dizzy and collapses on the ground. She is then returned to Malvina's room. Verena does not want to be in that room, but Alessio insists that it is in her best interests. Klaus then goes to see a doctor because Verena's condition is deteriorating. She has numerous hallucinations while feverish. She notices Alessio burying her alive. Inside the tomb, she notices Malvina, who runs her hand over Verena's face and body. Verena wakens the next morning, having seemingly recovered from her fever. She then proceeds to see Jacob. Jacob finally speaks up expressing his longing for his mother. I am right here, Verena responds. Jacob finally smiles and hugs his father. I hardly know the woman I see, Verena says through a voiceover. None of us are quite who we were. Verena is now playing the piano beautifully, and Jacob is delighted to be with her. Malvina must have passed on her memories and feelings to Verena while she was hallucinating about being entombed alongside her. This is why Verena can play the piano flawlessly even though she has only vague memories of her past. Klaus soon seals off the broken walls, indicating that they have moved on and Malvina's spirit has finally found peace.